Hello and welcome to Crossing Bridges. Ladies and gentlemen, today I have two young artists who are exceptional in their performances as well as community involvement. Today they are going to be performing for your delight. Violinist is Jeffrey Wu, who is only 12 years old, and on keyboard, Gigi Yip, who is 15 years old. Both these young people have performed for a number of years and they began their music lessons at the age of six. Jeffrey takes his violin lessons from well-known violist John Acevedo. He's also multi-talented, and he also takes piano lessons from concert pianist Ying Ying Huang. Gigi Yip also takes her piano lessons from concert pianist Ying Ying Huang, representing the Ying Ying Huang Music Studio. In addition to winning awards, they both have done a duo together this last Sunday and finished third in competition in Southern California. Jeffrey goes to Temple City in school, and Gigi is going to Maranatha High School in Pasadena. Now, Gigi has a very exceptional role in the community. She recently received the highest prestige award from Pasadena Human Relations Commission as Harry Sheldon Youth Award. What she does, in addition to the other activities, she performs on a regular basis for the homeless people in Los Angeles. And both along with Jeffrey, they have done much community programs by performing at senior citizens' retirement homes on a regular basis. And it's really a joy to have these wonderful young people on my show today because it's always a pleasure not only to see talented young people perform for you but at the same time to have exceptional community involvement, which is the key of giving back community. Our program will begin with Jeffrey performing three compositions, and then Gigi will join Jeffrey on keyboard, performing the finale of the program titled Beethoven Spring Sonata, Opus 24, Number 5. So after a short, brief commercial, we'll begin with the program. So, Mom, what if something happens? Should I stay where I am and wait for you? Or go to Grandma's house since it's closer? There's no reason not to have a plan in case of a terrorist attack. Is there a place we all meet? If the phone doesn't work, how will I tell you I'm there? And one extremely good reason why you should. What should I do? Talk to your family about what you would do in case of an emergency. For more information, go to www.ready.gov. Plastic ones last longer. Pork bellies closed steady due to speculation that demand for bacon-related product. Read me this one, Daddy. Okay, honey. The less art kids get, the more it shows. Are yours getting enough? Art. Ask for more. AmericansfortheArts.org. <laughs> 